Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a regular plan with me for the week of June 1st through the 7th and I'm going to be using the horizontal firefly kit from Sweet Kawhi Design in my Erin Condren neutral vertical and I think I've touched on it a little bit but you can definitely make horizontal kits work in the vertical and I'm going to try it out because I think it's going to give me a lot more room to plan in my columns. Um, just to add in a few more icons and things throughout my day since I am home for the summer and um, I don't know, I like to add in some extra things throughout my day. So let me flip through the kit really fast. This is page one. Got your checklist, your weekend banner, some icons here, and then your headers. Page two has your full boxes. And really the main difference between the horizontal and the vertical version of this kit is the length of the checklist and the full boxes. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, page three has some more full boxes, your weekly schedule here, habit trackers, dinner utensil banners, which it's been a while since I feel like Tay just put those in a kit. And I don't know, it kind of makes me happy to see them. I don't know that I'll use them, but I, I'm, I'm very pleased to see them. Page four is the half boxes and quarter boxes. Page five has the wood grain bottom washi and then the date covers. So I'm gonna get into this kit. I've pulled in some washi. This teal color, I can't remember quite um, the name of the color, but it has hollow foil bows in it. It is a perfect match for this kit. So like once again, Simply Gilded, Sweet Quiet Design, perfect match. And then I got the hollow reversed bows here as well in case I need a 10 millimeter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and get started. As promised, I'm going to try and keep this as chatty as possible because last week I had to do a speed through. I almost had to do another speed through today because if you follow me on Instagram, I got on my stories as I sat down to plan or to film and I realized that one of my neighbor's dogs, I wasn't quite sure at the time whose dog it was, was going bananas. And um, I, I found out after about three hours of the barking and the whining and everything, I found out that it was actually my neighbor's dog, well, my neighbor's son's dog. And it's a puppy. She's not used to being in that environment. So she was just really lonely, <laughs> definitely wanted to chatter. So um, after the entire neighborhood um, got on our little Facebook group and there was a thread about it, my husband texted my neighbor and was like, hey, I think it's your dog. <laughs> uh, my neighbor called me and asked if I could go take care of her. So I did and now all is well and everything is quiet and I can film. But, my husband's going to be home here soon, so I'm trying to beat him. I don't know that it's going to happen, but I like to have my planning done before he gets home. And he got off work a little bit early today. Um, they are not allowed to have any overtime, so he, I don't know what he does, but he clocks in early. And then, uh clocks in a little bit early back from lunch as well. So Fridays, lately he's been coming home early, which is kind of nice. Um, except for right now, when I wanted to have this already filmed and he's like almost home. So <laughs> I really try hard to not impede our time together. And then when he does get home, we've got some stuff to do anyway. So really wanted to get this done, but still also have a lot to do today, so we are hustling. Let me get the checklist on. Okay, so for reference, today is Friday the 29th, and tomorrow is my birthday. So that's exciting. Ooh, so this is interesting because if I put the header down, do you guys see that? I'm going to have to white out every single line. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. So maybe I'll be making these a four heart checklist. Hmm. 
because then that saves me. I'm trying to find a piece of paper to stick that little sliver. That saves me from having to white it out. Um, I'll obviously have to put some sort of box there to cover it up, but I wouldn't necessarily have to white out every single line. So I think that'll work out okay. I'm struggling to put the headers down straight, which is expected when I'm hurrying through things. So let me go ahead and take off the bottom heart of every checklist here. And then I'll try and go into how my day has been going so far. Um, I also touched about this on Insta Stories as well, but my husband leaves for work. Well, he gets up at 4 o'clock to get ready. And, I don't know, he leaves around 4.45, 4.40, 4 4.45. And this morning, I just, for whatever reason, couldn't go back to sleep. Which... I think it probably had something to do with how much I knew I needed to get done today <laughs> and probably just like the anxiety of that and worrying about trying to get everything done. So I have been up since before 5 o'clock, which is why I know my neighbor's dog was barking for over three hours because I've been awake that long. So anyway, I got up, I had some coffee, sat around for a couple of hours just because, I don't know, I, don't, I got up before, I mean, off the couch before 7, but sat around for a little bit watching some Law & Order SVU, which my friend Braley had mentioned because she's like, there's a ton of seasons. You've got something to watch all summer, so I've been making my way through that. And then I got a text. Well, I got an email and a text. So I got an email from Amazon and then a text from my husband at the exact same time letting me know that the car seat and stroller were delivered, which was exciting. Um, so I hauled that upstairs pieces at a time guys I wasn't like carrying a whole thing up the stairs by myself but little pieces at a time got everything put together tinkered with it a little bit and then I tried to sit down to film and realize that that wasn't gonna happen at that time so uh, my brother moves in with us tomorrow for I think what is going to end up being a little over a month and he's gonna have like the upstairs for the most part. It just also happens to be my planning space, so I'll try and remember to come back on that in just a second. Um, but we, I had um, been cleaning the house upstairs most of this week, but I just, guys, I get tired so fast, so I underestimated how much needed to be cleaned. Um, so I cleaned for I don't know, maybe three hours this morning. Cleaned the bathroom upstairs really good. Um, have been working my way through the laundry. Got the upstairs vacuumed, cleaned our master bathroom. Uh, I think that's about it. I finally, when my husband said he was coming home early as a kid, I'm not shampooing the carpets in and then I'm not gonna like, I can't clean anymore. My body hurts. It's so tired. Like, I I already still have to work out and go on my walk. I need to be done cleaning. Otherwise, this is going to not end well. So, he's going to help me when he gets home to finish up the cleaning. He's actually going to go on a walk with me, which is saying a lot because he hates going on walks. And, yeah, then I'll work out and it'll be fine. But... My guest bedroom, which is where my brother's going to be staying, also happens to be where I have all my planning stuff. <laughs> so I have been undecided so far 
as to whether I should just keep my planning stuff in here and um, like film. I'm going to take like my planning stuff downstairs, but like film when he's not home. Or I can move my filming stuff um, downstairs for the time being, for the next month. Um, that way he feels like this place is his. The upstairs is like his domain. I'm going to wipe this little hexagon out too. Until I'm ready to go film. Or, like, I could move it downstairs or I could keep it upstairs. I just haven't decided yet. Uh, when my husband gets home, I'm going to talk to him about it a little bit more. Because, I mean, we're talking the lights and the tripod and all of that. Versus I could just uh, film my plan with me's while my brother is gone. And we're talking that would just be a few times anyway. So, I don't know. I just want my brother to feel at home as possible, <laughs> even though um, I know that's going to be hard for him because he's, like, ready to move here and have his own place. And I know that that's not happening for him quite as fast as he would like. So, I'm trying to do my best, but also trying to keep things practical for me because... In the middle of him staying here is going to be my baby shower for here. And it's actually going to be at our house. Um, that way we don't have to haul things back and forth between the baby shower and here. So, which is kind of nice. And it gives me a hard deadline of when I wanted my whole house cleaned. So, um, it's, I think will keep me on track for cleaning just a little bit every single day and then hopefully by the time the baby shower rolls around the entire house will be just completely spotless and organized and perfect and ready for Jensen to come and that way I can relax July and August and really just maintain the house instead of still being like cleaning and organizing and stuff so I'm excited for that but if I take all of my planning stuff downstairs I'm going to have to bring it all back upstairs in a couple of weeks anyway, so I don't know. I guess I could talk to my brother too and see how he feels about me coming in and using this space as my filming. Like I would still take my planners and stuff downstairs because um, I can put that in a, well, it's like three trips down the stairs to take all my planner stuff, but uh I think I'm going to space this just a little bit above. But that wouldn't be horrible. And then everything could just stay down there during the week. And then when I'm ready to film, I would just have to haul it all back upstairs. So it wouldn't be the worst. So I'm going to put down these date covers. I think this one's going crooked, but whatever. Alright, so another funny story that I have for you guys is I was um, starting a load of laundry and I noticed that my phone was going off, so I went to go answer the phone and it was from a town near us, which I thought was kind of odd because I didn't really think anyone had my number. I mean, like coworkers do, but. I was like, oh shit, like what did I not do for work? Like what, <laughs> you know, like you start to get a little panicked. And then I answered the phone and it is the um, floral shop from that town, which is where we like get all of our flowers because they're a little town floral shop and they do a great job. So I answered and she's like, hey, is Drew there? And I'm like, no, this is Kayla. She goes, oh, well, I'm looking for Drew. When I said, well, Drew's my husband. And she goes, oh, um, so I have a flower delivery for you, but I don't want to go into any more specifics. I'm like, okay. I told her I could give her my husband's phone number, so I did that. And she's like, yeah, because I don't want to ruin anything else. I'm like, okay. 
So I text my husband and I'm like, hey, were you trying to be sneaky and give me flowers for my birthday? Because they just called and I gave them your number, so make sure you answer it. And he texted me and he's like, well, I didn't, I'm not sending you flowers. I didn't call them. And I said, okay, well, that's kind of weird then that <laughs> they have my phone number, but your name. But whatever, we're going to go with it. My husband doesn't lie, whatever. <laughs> but he, uh, he even like was trying to get me to think that it was his mom <laughs> sending the flowers because she used to do that a lot. Um, when things were like really, really bad between us, she would send us flowers and I don't know, that, that felt odd, but you know, whatever, maybe she was sending us flowers. Or sending me flowers for my birthday, whatever. And a couple of hours after that, I get a ring on the doorbell. And it's the flower company and I have flowers delivered for me. I feel like that went very crooked. Like the paper is crooked. Whatever. We're not going to go into it. We're going to go into the sidebar. We're just going to keep trucking along. And, um... I read the little card and my husband sent them to me, but not from him. He sent them from Jensen, which is kind of hilarious. And the card said, um, I beat dad to it. Uh, something like happy birthday, mama, love baby J. And it just like, I don't know, my heart melted. I don't even like getting flowers, guys. I think it's, I don't, I feel like it's a waste of money because they die, but it was super freaking cute, which is also why I believe that my husband didn't send them because he knows how I feel about flowers, <laughs> but it was unexpected and it was, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it a lot, like a lot, so. <laughs> Let me add a strip of this washi here. Um, I'm gonna bring that down just a tad bit more. But yeah, that's been my morning so far. So it's been it's been a not so day so far, I guess. Like a lot has happened. We're just chucking along here. Um, I am gonna put this down here. track my steps. I decided against tracking my yoga this week because it's not happening. Like even when I think about it and try to make a conscious effort, like it's just not happening. So we're going to take it off at least for this week. And I'm going to put cleaning in this top box instead. And that, because it's horizontal, is going to be too much space for a quote box. But let's see what we've got going on. I think I need to use... Oh, I think I'm going to do that one. Collect Beautiful Moments. Because I have extras of that color, I think. Or maybe not. Yes, I do. Okay. Then yes, that is the one I want. But you see if I put this all the way... Like, I'm still going to have room for something else. So. I will find some sort of quote sticker or something. I guess I'll just line it up with that line then. And this one. Here we go, and then I'll put some sort of quote sticker here. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but I'll go through my stickers and find something. But there's the sidebar, so that worked out pretty well. And yeah, so let's get into my days. I'm gonna put my workouts down at the bottom. I think I'm just gonna officially move my workouts to Monday through Friday. I think that that's going to work um, the best. So, 
And I'm still liking using the half box for that, so we're just going to line the half boxes up at the bottom. Um, I don't mind working out when my husband is home. Like, that doesn't bother me. But with my brother moving in with us, um, he is going to be working Saturdays. But, I don't know, I can just imagine that maybe on the weekends we'll just want to hang out or do something, so. Plus, the next couple of weekends are kind of busy. Anyway. So we'll just do the workouts then. And then I was still going on walks um, Saturday and Sunday. The only weekend I didn't do that, I ended up with super bad swelling in my legs. So we're not doing that again. We're just going to always go for a walk, even if it's a short, you know, one mile walk. We're just going to keep it up because I'm not experiencing that again. <laughs> Um, bills due. The first and the second I have bills due, so I'm going to pull out a couple of bill stickers for that. And I could definitely use George this time around, and that will be the last two Georges on the page. So, that works out. So, I'm going to turn it so I can put the stickers down. And then I will go in and put my quarter boxes up at the top for Monday and Thursday for my flower, or my flowers, for my plant, for watering my plant. And then I also need one on Friday because that is my husband's payday. So I usually mark that with a quarter box as well. All right, I'll get the icons in later. Um, let's go day by day. So Monday is actually a little bit different than normal. I'll still be working out, but I have to drive to Wichita to get my hair cut that day. So I think I'll use a functional full box to mark my hair cut. And I might have to end up using a different piece of washi there. I want to stop and get some coffee <laughs> beforehand just because, I mean, why not? Get coffee and breakfast. I mean, I may change my mind once I get to Monday. We'll see how I'm feeling, but there was a little coffee sticker. I swear there was a coffee sticker. I'm not making that up, right? Oh, guys, it's in my hand. <laughs> literally holding the sheet. So I'll probably put my plant sticker on that side. So I'll put the coffee sticker on this side and bump this guy down a little bit more. I'll recenter that icon. Actually, that looks pretty good. So I've got some smudge there, but whatever. And then I can put down an icon or whatever um, my husband and I end up doing that night down there. So Tuesday, gonna plan on getting coffee like normal. So usually though, I so maybe I'm not gonna super like. using the horizontal kit, but you know, I gave it a shot. Um, and I could always put the full box up top anyway. Maybe I should just try and figure out how to make that work. I put, actually this will work out pretty well. I put that there. I can leave a little space for coffee. And then just make it not such a big, not as big of a space for coffee. Put my groceries in, and I have a grocery icon in the kit. So 
So there's that. And then dinner at my dad's. I will put some sort of icon there to mark that in. Wednesday, I am 27 weeks. So I only have a sticker from Let's Plan It. which will perfectly cover up that line. And I think that's it. My husband has a massage that day after work. Um, but I mean, that doesn't affect me. So I don't think that I want to put that in. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put the half or the full box down towards the bottom to cover up that line. You know what? I may leave a space there in between to put something in because I have a quarter box left. And I think I should probably move that up a little bit. Move that full box up. Give myself a little bit more room. Down there to put an icon in. And I think that'll work out perfect. So if I want to, I can put my husband's massage in there just so I remember. I don't know if I will or not, but perfect. Okay, <laughs> my, my husband just got home. I almost, I almost freaking beat him. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. Um, I think we're gonna clean a little bit and then I'll have to come back and finish filming later. All right guys, so I'm back. I need to finish this up. I have no idea where I was and with what I was saying, if anything important at all. But, um, it's a few hours later. My husband and I have been very busy and our house is pretty much clean. No, like the top floor of our house is damn near spotless. Thank goodness it is about time because my brother moves in tomorrow. <laughs> so we got it all done. Um, the only thing left is like the sheets are washing and then that's it. And then the whole upstairs is done and we just have to maintain <laughs> until Jensen gets here. So... Um, I was looking at Thursday and I need a don't forget sticker. Um, there's a, because there's not like baby mom conventions going on right now because of COVID, uh, there's one in my hometown where I grew up that is going to be like a virtual online one and tickets go on sale Thursday, so figured I'd go ahead and get tickets to it or at least try. Um, it doesn't hurt to get extra free stuff and just learn more products so um, I needed to remember to do that and I am wanting to film my plan with me which I think I'll just use the full box for that. I'm just gonna put that above. I need to start getting in the routine of filming on Thursdays, editing on Fridays, so that I have Saturday and Sunday with my husband. And then yeah, that'll be a good space to put just an icon and write something in. Um, Friday, uh, I think I already have Drew's Payday and I have a sticker for that, so let me put down that little money icon for Friday. Like that. And um, that should be the day. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. That was the wrong way. Too far. Okay, that seems about right. <laughs> uh, we get our furniture delivered for the baby room and our grill and everything. So pretty excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and put this one, ooh, maybe not. Do I have another one? I don't have an extra. 
Maybe I'll put this at the bottom then so I can cover up that line. And then... I haven't pulled this one out yet, but I can put the header down with a cloud. And fill in some of that space there. But yeah, no, our furniture is coming in this day, so I need to remember to stay home. So, <laughs> that's not like, that's completely unlikely to happen, since we have nothing going on anyway. Um, I'm going to put the cloud, like, up here. I may have to move it once I actually get the cloud on there. But, I'm pretty excited. My husband has a tattoo appointment on Saturday. So he says his leg's gonna feel just fine. Um, I don't know what I'm putting in the cloud there, but I may switch things around just depending on the size of the icon of whatever I end up putting in there. I'm gonna bump the cloud up just a touch. There we go. I think that'll look cute and then I can write something in here. So like I said, Saturday he has his tattoo appointment first thing in the morning. No. No, it's in the afternoon. So yeah, I was still planning on going to do our um, Saturday trip to Zeb's. You know, maybe I want the weekend banner down here. Since I haven't been using my Wacky Holidays lately, although this would be the perfect washi, the bottom washi to put the Wacky Holidays on because it's super plain, but it's so pretty, like I don't want to cover it up with anything else. So, we'll do that. So we'll go get coffee Saturday morning, which... I actually have two full boxes for that day, so I'm going to go ahead and put a half box up at the top, and then maybe two full boxes. We'll see if I have enough room for that. I don't know if I will or not, but yeah, so Zeb's and then, which is like our coffee run. Then I can put this functional full box. And then maybe a little space and put the decorative all the way at the bottom. I think that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Just enough to put something in there. Um, and then Sunday, nothing. Like other than I plan to walk, which maybe that's what I'll put in there. Or I'll flip these around or whatever. Who knows? So we have nothing going on Sunday, so I'm going to go, I think I want to put the full box all the way at the top. And then maybe put the quarter box at the bottom. Make sure I'm still in frame. Because I don't know that I want to really put the half box at the bottom, but I definitely could. Maybe put the half box here. You can leave a little space. Could definitely do another cloud. I'm going to have a lot of stuff that I could potentially write for Sunday. Let me pull in a header. Put the cloud at the bottom. I think that's mostly going straight, but once I put the cloud in, I might change my mind. It's been a while since I've used a cloud. It feels weird. I sprinkle them in occasionally. I used to use them all the time. That is definitely not going straight. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it again, that's not... That is not straight at all. That's still not straight, but let's put the cloud down so we know which... 
how much room we're working with. Gosh, that was so crooked. It's not even funny. I used to use a cloud a lot. And then I got, like, so scared to use them because Tasia doesn't put them in kits anymore. That's going to be very crooked. So I didn't want to use all that I had saved up. And then I got some gifted to me because I think people just like realized how much I loved them and how much I used them and I'm close to close to running out again so I think that's like mostly going straight so we're gonna leave it and I do know that I can go ahead and put down the freebie Friday and Taylor Tuesday stickers because I already have those out and then I'm going to pull out all of my icons, fast forward you guys through me putting those down, and then I will check in with you guys at the end. Alright guys, here is my finished spread for next week. I am in love. Like, the colors in this kit are so perfect. They feel very serene and I, I don't know, I've loved this kit the second Tasia put it out. I'm like, I have to have that. <laughs> and I'm super glad that I picked it up. I'm glad that I paired it with this washi. I think it just like pulls everything together and looks, it does look really awesome. So as far as stickers go, I think I just use like my regular shops. Um, this one's Little Pity Paper, as is the little workout Ernie's, and then the typography that looks like that is all Little Pity Paper. Fox and Cactus Running Girls, that's a Fox and Cactus one. That dinner typography is from Crooked Paper Co. And then Let's Plan It. Everything else is Sweet Quiet Design, I believe, so, um... Yeah, I really love how this turned out. I'm excited to get to plan in this week. I think it's going to be a pretty fun week. Um, I think kind of like getting used to my brother living here and everything is going to be a little bit, uh, I wouldn't want to say challenge. It's going to be different for all of us because we've never had to do that before. But I'm so glad to have him in Kansas City, so I, I'll deal with it. Um, as far as the shops that I PR for, I do PR for Little Pity Paper. And you can use my code Kayla15 to get 15% off your order plus snag this freebie. And then IPR for Sweet Quiet Design. And you can use my code Kayla10 to get 10% off your order plus this freebie. So I realized just now that I never did a disclaimer at the beginning of the video about my, <laughs> my nails. Um, I did like a fun little mystery... Um, like online wheel type spinner decide the fate of my nails this week and that's how they turned out so it's definitely not like something I put together and thought actually looks good guys so just wanted you to know that anyway um yeah I will be back next week with a plan with me and I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you then bye guys